Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for coming through again to learn how to build emails. So today I have uh, in front of me three designs. Uh, I've got this. Let me see if I can grab a tool to show you where I'm highlighting. Uh oh. So it darkens everything. I didn't want to do that. Let's try to do this. Okay. Maybe give this one with uh, 32 all right there you go so today i'm gonna be building this this email yeah and on the next tutorial i'm gonna be building this email <laughs> and then in the next tutorial i'm gonna be building this email but you know what i'm not gonna go through every little detail okay that's for a fact I am gonna need to build this email it's something I have to do but I'm not gonna go through every little detail but for you to get all the details that I've had to put in for this email to actually render across different email clients such as Gmail Android iPhone and all the other rest of them you need to watch the course okay I cover all in-depth tutorial but without uh, wasting much time and having said all of that have get gone out of the way let's see what we can do so what I'm gonna do is if I do this all right that was the last two so what I'm gonna do is do that maybe do white hmm. okay uh, right okay that would do fine anyway so just covered that up and I'm gonna get rid of this rectangle tool so that we just focus on if I just zoom into where we want to go so basically uh, we're just gonna focus on this build and to start off as always I need to drag some guides onto the actual image and the actual design <clears throat> Particularly these guys can just be random all right so let's have a look in the beginning they can be random let's see okay all right somewhat there's fine and I'll drag this one and put it there all right okay so if you've watched the course you know exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing and okay let's say this was the actual logo we needed to use then i'd have to do that just box it up okay so there we go bam all right so now i'm gonna take the zoom tool by pushing z on the keyboard and i'm gonna push v on the keyboard to bring the pointer tool and then i'm going to precisely move my guide so that it crops the image uh, precisely so by doing that we become more pixel perfect right so let me just drag this on out right there's perfect okay if I hold spacebar and drag up maybe hold spacebar again and drag up okay I can see if I hold, if I push Z on the keyboard, I can see I don't want all this little gray stuff, okay? Because that's not gonna make it look pixel perfect. So I push V and crop that out. Okay, push my guide up a little bit so that that's not included when I'm doing the slices. So having done that, I can literally come in here and it's gonna snap. The, the slices are gonna snap. And now that the slice is in, in place, I can call this hero. Some people may call it banner. Some people may call it whatever they want. Okay. But I'm just going to call it, okay, let's just call it hero. That's cool. So the height is 759, uh, 740 by 459. So what I'm thinking is, I think the designers made this 460. I make it in 460 I like round numbers so let me just take a look back at the bottom here okay so that will include all this gray that I didn't want before let's take a look at the top 
okay so at the top it's the, the, you can still see it's perfect so I'm cool with that all right and again this is all covered in the course if you're actually not sure what's going on but basically you need to be um, pixel perfect and precise every time so now I am going to try to see this image you know what I'm gonna cut it up here if I push V on the keyboard and push there Okay, so I've got a trackpad, so I'm just uh, pinching out and pinching in to zoom in and out. But you can do the same thing if you actually uh, push Z on the keyboard and you can zoom out, you know, this tool here. So, but yeah. So now I'm going to push V on the keyboard and push up whilst holding shift so that it snaps to the pixel when I zoom in. So that zooms into the bottom I can push Z on the keyboard so that I don't have to pinch on the trackpad and I can push a V on the keyboard and then hold shift whilst dragging out so that it snaps to that last pixel edge okay so that is looking perfect to me if I zoom into this corner yep that is perfect all right so I got this image if I get the if I push C on the keyboard uh, get the crop tool, the slice tool, double click it and say fella. So again, this is 441. The designers would have maybe made it 440 by 440. So I'm going to go with that. But I'm going to look <clears throat> on the image to see what was removed when I put 440. So, so this last little pixel here was taken out. So I don't mind it being in there anyway that's fine with me but at the top I don't want any white to be honest with you I would rather a situation where if I push C I don't have that gray but now it's 439 because I've taken a pixel out but I can get this pixel back in to make it 440 so if I double click this image, you'll see that it says 440 by 440. Okay. So that is just some things that you do when you're cutting out images. Let me zoom into this image. <clears throat> so this is when you want to get the social media icons. So maybe if I put that there. Ah, okay. Let's just work with this for now. Let's see. I'm going to push C crop this out see how much number we get 56 by 56 so I am gonna try to go 50 by 50 because I know how the numbers go sometimes especially these social media icons I call this uh, let's call this icon Facebook okay <clears throat> and I'll hit okay so now what I'm gonna do using the arrow keys I'm just gonna move everything around to it's proportional to where I want it's too much on the bottom that's perfect okay let's see maybe one to the right one to the right one to the left all right about there is fine so what I'm gonna do is now push V on the keyboard move my bottom one to there matter of fact zooming in would help <clears throat> press V uh -huh. press V and snap it to there that's perfect move it across press V again and then move that one to there so that I get the 50 height uh, when I crop this one out double A I did it with the lasso tool I was supposed to do it with the slice tool all right so now <clears throat> I get 50 so I need to change that width to 50 and call this one Instagram okay I hope this is making sense so far if not I definitely know you have not taken a course <laughs> anyway let's slice our Twitter double click and say Twitter but one thing I've done wrong is I need to say icon so that when they stack they stack in sort of like the same location hold control and double click 
and this one I have to call it icon Instagram okay now if I hold control come back to this one it gets selected zoom in a little bit now what I need to do is push to the side one pixel that's fine that's centered so yeah all my graphics have been saved these buttons I'll use proper HTML so I don't need to cut them out okay uh, so with that done I will save them out same process I've done in the course I'll, 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 I'll hit uh, control shift out s and then this comes up and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export them out same thing that I've done in the course nothing new I'm gonna check the file size this is 182 maybe it's a little bit high so I, I changed it to very high so it's 108 is perfect I'll come down to this one what's this 124 mm, yeah because this is a photo so I'd like it to be maximum quality so I'll leave it at that and then these social media icons I can leave them at maximum because it's just like 4kb that's all right and that's that one 4kb as well I'd much rather them be as maximum uh, quality they can be so that's why I leave them up. the idea is that obviously if it's maximum quality it's gonna need more uh, like it's gonna have a bigger file size and a bigger file size can impact the way people receive your email when you actually finally send it to their inbox so for example if someone opens up their phone and they're looking at your email what tends to happen is these bigger images will take like your 4g it'll take longer for them to load and that loading time can actually impact somebody from actually waiting for the image to load seeing your offers they just might just be like so annoyed of waiting they'll just be like oh just come out of your email without even having clicked the buttons the reason why we send out these emails is for people to actually click the buttons click the images whatever and go to the website to, to do a purchase or find out extra information so if the people are having to wait a long time for the things to load then they're just not as likely gonna get involved so you don't want to have big file sizes that's why here like on the image it was on maximum it was like 182 which is not a lot that's fine but I just felt like okay let's just drop it down a little bit so 100 108 that's still fine that's still good you don't want to save images which are like a uh, one megabyte because one megabyte does not make make no sense so you know keeping the numbers low is perfect as always so so right I'm gonna save these images out and the next time you see me you've been Dreamweaver but if you've been confused so far you know what the course is available and like I said this is not gonna be like a whole full tutorial but I'm gonna take you into certain bits so I uh, just wanted to share that insight so that you guys keep motivated in terms of learning how to build emails why not yeah you know something you can do something you can learn is so simple it's not that difficult and during the pandemic you can work from home so you know why not take it out on so yeah again it's been your boy hope you've enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next video thanks peace bye hey, hey. Hope you're having a good day. I got some good news. The course is now available. Click the link below to get full access. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Subscribing. subscribing.